Okay, are you ready to travel into a cyberpunk world compared to the likes of Night City? Are you ready to get into all of the scum and villainy that a neon city has to offer? Like, making food, selling food, uh... Maybe buying stuff? <laughs> yeah, honestly, the game we're gonna be talking about today is quite different from the rest of the games that I have covered on this channel in the past. Not only because it's an action-free shop simulator taking place in Nivalis, the same city as Cloudpunk, but also because we have almost no information on the game yet, only what it might be about. Being able to piece together most of our details in the city of Nivalis from Cloudpunk. But with this being a shorter vid, I will keep this intro short and sweet, so let's get right into the city of Novalis and see what it might be like. So getting right into things, I will say right off the bat that I have not played Cloudpunk yet, as I just did not really find the concept of that game all that interesting. That is not to say that Cloudpunk is not a good game, and the city of Novalis that they created with it does not look absolutely intriguing. Now, I will say that this video will be on the shorter side, as we've not heard all that much about this game yet, only recently getting a release window of 2024. As I stated before though, Novalis is the city you find yourself delivering packages in in the game Cloudpunk. Unlike Cloudpunk though, in Novalis the game, it is up to you to live your life in this huge dystopian city. This game sounds awfully different than the usual games that I cover too, being more of a life sim than either an action RPG or survival horror game. Really though, I've always loved games like this. I mean, Stardew Valley is even like my third most played game on Steam. I've just never made a video on games like this as I never actually thought they'd be very interesting. I am just sick and tired of waiting for Novalis though, and thought it would be perfect to talk about it a little bit. So what exactly is Nivalis, or Nivalis, I don't know how to pronounce it, but what is Nivalis? A few of you might be asking. Well, coming from what we know in Cloudpunk, Nivalis is a sprawling metropolis, probably bigger than even Night City. Though not unlike Night City, Nivalis is ran by street gangs and corpos. Different to Night City though, is the use of the HOVA, a flying car and the primary source of transportation in Nivalis. Seeing all the HOVAs in action in Cloudpunk's gameplay, it heavily reminds me of the quote-unquote streets in The Fifth Element, or all of the cars zooming around in Coruscant, and in between all of that crime and hustle and bustle and death and corruption, sits all of the different places to escape the city and spend all of your hard-earned money. This is where you will be coming into play. From the news and trailers, Nivalis the game takes place in Nivalis the city, duh, and you have to set up shop looking for a chance at a new life. It sounds like we'll be seeing a shopkeeping sim kind of similar to Stardew Valley or something out of the multiplayer role-playing servers I see a lot in games today. You start with your small yakisoba hut, working your way up to being a full-time entrepreneur of the Nivalis nightlife. You will actually get to choose how to spend your days, either working non-stop, always trying to get your shop to the next level, or if you're happy with what you already have, spend your days in the big city meeting and greeting all of your future customers, and as I said, spending all of your hard-earned money. And really, I know this all pretty much sounds like an ad for the game, or like someone is paying me to hype up the game, as if someone would do that. <laughs> but really, I'm just super excited for Nivalis. And as I said, I don't know why, but I love realistic-ish slice-of-life games that I can just mindlessly sink hours into, building up a whole empire. On top of that, from Cloudpunk along with everything else that we've seen, Ion and 505 seems like they're going to be giving us an awesome cyberpunk city and environment. I also want to say, I think the voxel graphics are looking absolutely amazing, reminding me a lot of Valheim, which I think looks great as well. You can really do something special with realistic lighting mixed with well done voxel textures. Really though, we don't know much else about the game, being why this video is so short. With only getting a release window of 2024 a couple of weeks ago and not seeing much coverage on the game yet at all, I thought I would try to change that and hype up a few of you with me. But with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this short and side video with a few final words. I really hope we do see more news on the game soon, as I've actually been keeping my eyes on the Steam page for the last year or two. But I still thought I would talk about the small bit that we do know so far, along with my thoughts on how I think things are looking. 
I hope that Ion and 505 can give us a packed world with a bunch of side activities to do and a whole lot of dimly lit alleys to explore. But I really just hope that I've not gotten my hopes up for nothing, as it seems to be the case with a lot of games these days. But I can already tell that when Novalis drops, I will probably be getting a video out on it and I will probably be spending a good portion of my time trying to build up my own Noodle Nightclub. But as things go with these smaller side videos, I think I'm just gonna end things there. But if Novalis is a new game that sounds interesting, or something you've also been keeping tabs on, let me know what all your thoughts are in the comments now. And if you enjoyed this shorter video, it would mean a whole lot if you could just hit it with a like. If you want to see more, along with the bigger Friday videos, then don't be afraid to hit that little red button hanging out down there. And if you really, really liked this video and you want to support more like this and everything to come, check out a membership to either my YouTube or my Patreon now to get your name at the end of every video plus more, plus supporting the channel. But as always, do not feel pressured because as I say, you find people of YouTube already do plenty. Lastly, if you heard any music that you enjoyed and you want to hear more, head on over to BillyTheWhip.com or just BillyTheWhip on any music platform now to find something brand new to bob your head to. And now that we're here, thank you all so, so much for everything you do. Watch out for that big video on Friday. And as always, I hope you have an absolutely satisfactory day. God, this community is overreacting.